Hi guys, my name's Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today I have an actual video of a dog with kennel cough. I saw a good client the other day, her doggy came down with kennel cough, and uh, she had a great video, and I wanted to use it for YouTube, and she was generous enough to let me use it. So very soon here, I will share that video with you guys. I just wanna let you know, this dog is vaccinated, so the symptoms are significantly less. Some dogs with kennel cough have like a, have like a whooping cough, kind of like children that have whooping cough, it's just goes, 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 cough, 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 and some gagging. In this video, you will see a very small nagging cough that is repeated over and over and over, so the client, the pet owner gets nervous. Also at the end, you'll usually see a gag or a, some spitting up. This is very common to clear the throat after some coughing, either mild or severe coughing from camel cough. This video right here is a doggy that went to doggy daycare and now has kennel cough. The symptoms are mild, guys, because we were previously vaccinated. Now, of course, this video is great. You can look at it and be like, oh, does my dog or does a dog have kennel cough? The problem is with that is I get this video through an email or they share it with me, but I still have the dog come in to diagnose it. Why? Because these symptoms can be caused by other things too. Do I have, you know, cardiopulmonary issues, cardiovascular issues? Like, is there a heart or a lung issue? Is there a chest issue? Do I have pneumonia? Do I have bronchitis? All of these symptoms can cause these very similar symptoms. Symptoms. And I get nervous about that. I don't, I don't want to miss anything because I have had dogs come in with possible kennel cough and we've x rayed and found other problems. So when a doggy comes in, when this doggy comes in, you know, we take an x ray, maybe pull some blood work, and we rule out other major concerns or problems. If something's really problematic on the x ray, we may swab the throat to help diagnose either a viral or bacterial issue. But in most cases, guys, if we do our blood work in our x ray, we rule out other major issues based on our history, being social doggy daycare, dog park, what have you. Um, and then this, and we have a healthy dog and all of a sudden, boom, we got symptoms. Either they're mild like this one or more severe. These, in my opinion, should be treated. You know, most veterinarians will do some doxycycline. Some of them will do a cough suppressant. Some will do it in an anti-inflammatory to reduce inflammation in the airways because it's really itchy and they're coughing a lot. Either way, going to your veterinarian and getting it diagnosed and you got to go to your vet, guys. Go to your vet, get it diagnosed. And then they can treat the problem for you and your dog can feel better. Again, this dog get kennel cough. It's a great video to show what symptoms look like, how it can be a nagging cough with some gagging in dogs that are vaccinated. Unvaccinated dogs, just think about it, guys. It's a bit worse. So, as always, I'm Dan. I'm a veterinarian. Thank you so much for joining me, guys, on YouTube here. I really, really appreciate it. If you haven't checked it out yet, my daughter and I, Hazel, have a YouTube video once a week where we give away a free dog or cat product that we think is cool that we buy online that we gift it and send it off to somebody. Hope you guys check it out. It's a really fun video and you could win something for free.